Ladies and gentlemen, we know who our Super Bowl champion is. That's right. It is the team that we all thought was built for. The team that built themselves up for the Super Bowl, the Los Angeles Rams. They have beaten the Cincinnati Bengals 23-20 in Super Bowl 56. And I told you, I told you Rams by less than four. I said by less than four on Friday night, and I was right. What did I tell y'all? I, I told y'all, less than four. Um, what a game. What a game. A game in which crypto ads were all over the place. The halftime show apparently was great. I did not watch the halftime show, by the way. I did not watch that. Uh, I, was, I was doing other things uh, during halftime. But, man... This game right here was just, it was, it was about as what I expected. I, 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 I think all the beats we got here were pretty much right here. Um, the Rams, you know, let, let's break it down from the Rams' perspective first off. We got to give our hats off to Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup, you know, once again, this man just does what he wants to do. On the offensive side of the ball, caught two of Matthew Stafford's three TD passes. And I mean, Stafford didn't do too well, you know, at times because he threw two terrible interceptions. Once again, he threw two terrible bad. He threw he threw some bad picks in this game, as we kind of expected. I, I figured that would happen. But, you know, Cooper Cup right there. You know, and there were some plays at, at some points during this game for the Rams in which... You know, it just didn't work out. Philly Special did work out. Running the ball did not even come close to working. The Rams had less than one yard per carry, I believe. It was that bad. It was really that bad. And on the defensive side of the ball, you already know who was there. Aaron Donald, man. Aaron Donald, man. On another level. I mean, the whole Bengals, the whole Bengals O-line, excuse me, not the D-line. We're talking the Bengals O-line, which just could not stop Aaron Donald. They couldn't stop Leonard Floyd. They couldn't stop Vaughn Miller because they, they, those guys were all over them. They were all over Joe Burrow. I mean, like, how, how man, how? We, we kind of expected the Bengals O-line to do what they did, which is just not hold up, and they did not against the Rams defensive front seven and it was it was just rough man it was rough for most of the night like you know Bengals held tough for pretty a pretty good amount of time but unfortunately you know a good amount of time don't mean nothing you know once we get into the later stages of this game and that's exactly what happened like the, the Rams they put in work they put in work when it came to you know making the plays they needed to play and they, they got they got what they needed to make late in the game. Unfortunately for the Bengals, you know, you know, sure, you know, Joe Burrow, he, he played he played his heart out, man, I'll tell you that much. Even Joe Mixon threw a touchdown in this game, which was very much surprising off of true play. Like, you know, again, unfortunately for Burrow, you know, the O line just could not hold up. Like there were flashes of greatness from the Bengals, but again, I think the O-line really just did a bit. But I mean, again, the Bengals' defense was no slouch in this game. We're talking the Bengals' defense was a slouch except for Eli Apple because Eli Apple is not very good. You know, just not a good guy. <laughs> On defense, man, like, dude, dude could not do it. Dude just could not cover to save his life. Like, my goodness. <laughs> so, like, you know, you got guys like Ouzier and Jesse Bates again. You know, on defense, picking off Matthew Stafford. You know, you know, you got those types of guys. But then you got guys like Eli Apple being a complete liability on defense. It's just sad. It's just real sad. You know, like the Rams didn't have a tight end. Rams lost Odell Beckham after the first touchdown. You know, because he, I believe it was like Stafford threw the ball and hit Odell in his knee. And it hurt him. Like it, it was, it was getting rough out there. These injuries, like there was a couple of injury scares for Burrow and Stafford in this game. That's how crazy it was, you know. Like there was some injury scares. The refs didn't really do too much. They, they really. Now a lot of people are gonna be like, oh well, they made three calls late in the Rams drive, but they also apparently, you know, they, there was a play in which should have been called, but it didn't get called. In which you know, Ramsey basically got, you know roughed up for, I believe it was like a face mask, it looked like, it looked like it was a face mask, 
and it just never got called. So, you know, the Bengals were gifted seven, technically, and Rams technically were gifted seven as well. So tit for tat, you know, tit for tat here. It, it's irrelevant at this point because, again, like, like we've been saying, you know, throughout the entire two weeks that we've been building up the Super Bowl, Bengals O line just should have protected Burrow better. Like that, that that's really what this game came down to, because Aaron Donald, the closer. He is the closer, and he closed the game out with that sack on Joe Burrow. And I mean I have no idea who won the MVP yet, because I, I literally clicked off the game like right after it was over, got got here to make my reaction, and I'm just like, yeah, we we gotta get this out, you know, right now, baby. We gotta get it out right now. So man, what a game. What a game. I, 2021, 20, 2022, you have blessed us with one of the greatest NFL seasons in a long time. E even the kicker follies in this game were absolutely insanity. Like, like Hecker, like, not, you know, not getting the snap correctly and everything. You know, just pure NFL kickers insanity. Hashtag NFL kickers. You know, insanity in this game. That's how it saved the season once. We had we even had to talk about the kickers in this game. Like that's how it saved this game was. Again, uh ads were not very good for the most part. There were a couple of ads that were pretty funny. Uh halftime show, I'm sure I'll watch it, you know, at some point, I think. I don't, I don't know, but I mean I'm probably not because I, I just don't care for the halftime shows. I get I get it because I mean the halftime show was apparently good, but I mean at the same time I don't care. It's got. It's kind of like how I feel about HBCU bands at halftime. I do not care. I really don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, Rams get number two. They get their second Super Bowl. Matthew Stafford gets a ring. Aaron Donald gets a ring. Eldale Beckham gets a ring. Cooper Cup gets a ring. A lot of guys get their get their first ring. And you know, for right the wrongs from a couple years ago for Sean McVay and company. That's what they needed to do. They righted the wrongs, you know, Brady out, you know, and everything like that. Like, of course, you know, we had to have a Brady reference during the Super Bowl. And what a magical way to end it for the season, man. It almost makes me want to put a tear to my eye because, I mean, I, I really want to cry at how great this season has been. So, you know, it, it's just been wild from start to finish and... Again, just what a finish we got. Uh, I cannot wait for 2022, 2023 in the NFL because it's going to be a wild one, I can tell you that much. But for now, for now, have a good sleep, NFL. Have a good sleep. We'll be touching back up on you, you know, soon with the draft and stuff like that the NFL schedule for next year and stuff like that free agency and all sorts of different things and everything when it comes to the offseason because the NFL never sleeps the NFL is always crazy the NFL <laughs> rules America by for, for all intents and purposes I mean whew, whew. what a season congrats to, once again to the Los Angeles Rams on winning Super Bowl 56 and for all of you Stick around. We we got to get something else out that was supposed to come out earlier today. So stick around. We'll be back in about 30 to 45 minutes or so. So y'all take care. Hope you guys enjoyed the Super Bowl like I did. And have a good night. Take care. <laughs>